How does it feel to finally know you have an opponent in the first round? Uh, well, you know, just like any other year, you decided to start the playoffs. Uh, you know, this is what you play for for this moment and try to make a run at a championship. So, well, it's exciting. How, how was practice today, and how do you gauge the mood and the feistiness of this team? Right now? Oh, it was a great practice, man. Focus levels is great. You know, you kind of see pep in the step, so um, well, it's a good day for us. Grandma, Steph said the other day that this team, regardless of the struggles and the injuries over the last stretch, knows what to do this time of year. That's, that's, it's a new season, right, for you guys? Definitely. Um, you know, we, we got the experience, we know what it takes. Uh, you know, so, you know, experience usually plays a part in, you know, winning and losing at this time of year. And I think, you know, when it comes to you know, winning at this time, collectively as a team, I think we got more experience than just about any other team out there that's been together for, you know, some time. So. Draymond, is it different playing without Steph in the playoffs than this in the regular season? I mean, it's just like playing with them in any other game, you know. Definitely makes things tougher, but, you know, we've been here before. Just got to come out and execute and play our game. What have you learned about this group over the last month or so? Uh, that we can struggle. That's about it. <laughs> and get through it. No, I mean, I don't, you know, I know this group. You know, I know what this team is about. I know the guys on this team, so... You know, it's not about learning much. We know each other. We know. He does. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys that just kind of, you know, in, in, in the moment, is just ready for that moment. Uh, you know, it's. <laughs> You know, it's a special thing. It's a, it's a trait that many people don't have, you know, so it's definitely something special. And, and of course, on this team, you know, it's going to float under the radar. But that's why he's a finals MVP. That's why he's helped us win multiple championships. Do you think even last year during the playoffs, you under the radar a little bit? Every year. That's just how it is. That's how it's been. That's the way it's going to be, you know. But that's great for us. And he, he likes it like that, huh? Yeah, he's not a guy that's chasing any attention. Um, or want the story to be about him. That's not him. You guys have been talking about flipping the switch all season. Do you feel like you began that process today? Or is it a long, is it a, not that simple? No. You don't just flip a switch. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think we just flip a switch. You know, we. We won 58 games. You don't do that flipping the switch, you know. Uh, we have good games and we have bad games. Uh, we have great stretches and we have bad stretches. But you don't just flip the switch. What does it say about the, you know, the center by committee sort of that Steve has been doing, where different guys can contribute different nights and they, you know, they may not get many minutes on the other night and they just stay ready. Ah, uh, I mean, it says a lot about you know the culture that's been built around here. Um, you know, with, you know the type of professionals that are here, you know, and just staying ready, waiting for their number to be called, and giving the team what they got. Uh, you know, I think it's been more attention focused on that this year, but he's kind of been doing that, you know, ever since Bogan left. You know, it's just kind of been by committee. So, um, you know, all our centers bring us some different, bring us a different look, and that's great for us. Does that make it difficult to, to prepare for you guys? No. Not at all. Were you watching? Kevin's always been who he is, but like, so I'm not asking from like a production standpoint. What has he been like as a leader in this season? Uh, he's grown. You know, I think that's an area that, you know, even he would admit that it was something that, you know, over the years he wasn't as comfortable with and has continued to grow in that area. So, you know, that's all you can ask for, you know, as a teammate, as a Basketball players, anything to do with basketball, that's all you can, in life, you can really ask for someone to grow. I think he's grown. What jumps out to as far as what, what he's shown? In the no, just his communication. You know, he's gotten more and more comfortable communicating, not afraid to hear his own voice. 
were you watching games last night? How, yeah, how so intent smart. were you figure out who your opponent was? It didn't have nothing to do with who we was going to play. Uh, number one, there was too many. You know, I had, they gave me the sheet the other night. And it was like full of scenarios of people we could play. It was too much. Uh, <laughs> so I just enjoyed the games. It was fun to watch. It was fun to watch. Nah, I couldn't do it. Nah, I couldn't. Nah, it, it, my, uh, I think I'm a pretty smart guy, but that was too much for me. So I just enjoyed the basketball games. That Minnesota Denver game was real good. That was that was fun to watch. Like. Are you guys preparing Spurs and this is the matchup they present and what things they have? What about them? Uh, with the Spurs matchup, what makes them? Uh, I mean, they're the Spurs. You know, they they don't beat themselves. You have to beat them. Um, you know, and they will allow you to beat yourself. You know, so it's just about being solid, playing our game. Oh, you know, I think we got the talent, we got the experience, we got you know everything we need to win. It's just about. You know, going out there and executing the game for Are you preparing to see Kawhi Leonard just in case or uh, operating under the assumption? I'm operating under the sense of it don't matter, you know. Uh, whoever they put on the floor, that's a team that's going to compete no matter what. So um, I'm not about to play part in the whole Kawhi. Is a Kawhi playing, is he not? Like, that's on them. I gotta be ready to play no matter who's out there on the floor. So my approach is the same. This whole journey feels so much different than, than a year ago with what you guys have gone through and your number two seed. You know, uh, just... Every journey has a, you know, takes on its own life. You know, no season is the same as the year before. Um, you know, there's different challenges in, in different seasons. So. You know, yeah, this one feels different, but it's no different than last year feeling different than 2016. And 2016 feeling different than 2015. That's just the nature of the game we play. Uh, every journey takes on life of its own. Draymond, you guys seem to be at your best when you're locked in defensively. Is one of the leaders in that regard? What's the team's mindset in terms of getting back to sort of lockdown defense that you guys are obviously capable of? Uh, you know, it's, it's time for that. You know, going to the playoffs. You know, you're going to see an opponent possibly seven times. They're going to know what you do. You got to know what they do. And then it's about, it's about reacting, um, you know, being locked in and focused on executing the game plan, uh, you know, and really locking in on the defensive end. That's how you win this time of year, and we know that. What makes Popovich a great coach to you in your mind? Or is he, uh, or is he what? Or is he? Is he a great coach? Yeah. Nah, he suck. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, I think, you know, just what he's been able to build there over the years, uh, you know, with the consistency that they play with, uh, you know, this he's created a system where obviously you need great players. Uh, and he's been the one, the first one to always admit that. But, Number one, he's smart enough to admit that, which most people try to take the credit. He don't take all the credit. He say, you know, I hired Tim Duncan. I've heard him a million times say, uh, this team will go as far as Tim Duncan will take us. And, you know, that's brilliant. But he's also a brilliant basketball mind. You know, the system uh, that he's put in place, the, you know, when you when you look at out of time, I was probably one of the best in the game. You know, the game plans that he come up with, you know, the – in-game adjustments that he that he makes. I mean, he's just a special coach. Uh, he gets the best out of all his guys, and you know he's been doing that for 20 plus years. You talked about defensive execution a minute ago. What about defensive intensity? Are you confident that's going to be back when that ball tips off on Saturday? I'm very confident in that. Uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's playoff time. You get a different life, a different energy. Uh, not saying everything's going to go right, uh, perfect, like we would all hope in a perfect world, but, you know, you got, it's about sticking with it and, you know, trying to put together 48 minutes of good basketball, both sides of the ball. I'm not going to ask about Steph again. Um, what role is he playing right now? Is he going to shoot around in practice? Is he uh, with you guys? Yeah, I ain't no uh, trainer, champ. That ain't really my update to give. That ain't that ain't, that ain't in my job title. Uh, what about the uh, you mentioned uh, Pop? What about your coaches? Is there any tough around you guys trying to 
get you guys to ramp things up on, uh, for the playoffs? He's not very good either. <laughs> <laughs> Even no. matchup. <laughs> no, um, you know, obviously Steve has been great for us. Uh, you know, and, you know, obviously been on us to pick it up. And, you know, I think he's put together a great game plan for us going into the series. You know, he has our trust, uh, which obviously shows him the success that we've had. Um, you know, one of those guys who's great at in-game adjustments and all that stuff as well. So, you know, I was just looking forward to going out there and executing the game plan that, you know, Steve and the staff has put together. Uh, you know, we know if we execute the game plan like we're supposed to, give ourselves a chance to win it. That's all you can ask for.